Well, I'm so proud to have brought forward the Crown Act right here in Colorado. House Bill 1048 will ban discrimination based on ethnic hairstyles across Colorado. So our team has been working behind the scenes on leading the work to advance anti-hair discrimination legislation known as the Crown Act on behalf of Doug and the Crown Coalition. Proud to have facilitated, excuse me, the Crown Coalition's support of the passage of the Crown Act in California, New York, and New Jersey. It was through conversations with my manager, my direct manager there, that let me know, and she let me know at the time of her departure from hers, that she was worried about my longevity there because the area manager had an issue with my appearance, specifically my hair. I remember working for a large company um, in Colorado, and I came to work in a protective style for me, it's kind of like today. Um, and upon seeing my new hairstyle, my manager certainly was filled with curiosity. So much so that she called and emailed friends throughout the department at my company. I overheard these phone conversations and she encouraged them to come up to our department to see my hair because looking at me with braids was like watching a monkey in a zoo. I am a proud co-prime sponsor of this act because it's a necessity. I am not my hair. I should not be judged by the looks of my hair and neither should my, uh, my children, my grandchildren, or anybody. Your hair is not an indicator of your intelligence. It's not an indicator of your integrity. It's not an indicator of the type of person you are and you should be able to have the freedom to wear your hair any way you desire. I have to be very candid. When I first went natural, I was very concerned about what it was going to do to my public image. Were people still going to be able to relate to me in the same way? My numbers digitally have exponentially grown. People are more connected with someone who is free to be themselves than someone who's trying to be a cheap version of what everybody else wants them to be. For many of us, it's not only social, but it's political. We get to make a political statement in this country that we belong, every culture belongs, and every woman should be able to wear her hair the way she wants to wear it. People are being celebrated for who they are. We are being celebrated for who we are. And it's time that the laws change too. This bill will have to pass by the end of session, which is May, but we are hoping that it passes much sooner. Um, we have no fiscal note on this bill, which means we don't have to go through appropriations or budgeting, um, and we're able to just go through the committee process. It could take days, it could take months, but it will happen by the end of May.